Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Food Trends Live. I'm Scott Albert and today we're in Nicholas & Company's cooler in our specialty cheese select uh, section. And just wanted to walk down the aisles a little bit and show some of our local cheeses that we have to offer to our customers. Um, really want to start with our cheddar category and mainly our Beehive Cheese Company. We carry the whole entire line of Beehive Cheese. Uh, primarily everything's in a five pound pack, really easy for the consumer and the chef to use and manage. This is a smoked habanero uh, cheddar. They smoke it, they add some fresh habanero chili, chili pepper to it, and it really has a good little slight kick to it, but a nice bit of smokiness as well. Kind of a cool one to put out there if you're doing something on the you know, interesting Southwest piece or just to have as a snack. The other one I really like from Beehive is the Sea Hive cheese made with Utah honey and Utah sea salt. So really encapsulating a little bit of that full local scenario and using all the different parts and pieces in Utah. Uh, again, nice little saline, so it adds a little bit of sweetness to it, but pretty cool dynamic cheese. Moving down the aisleway with Beehive, really looking at their Barely Buzz. Uh, this is their home run item signature. It's uh, rubbed with espresso and uh, lavender oil. So essentially they're taking a beautiful grind putting the lavender oil on top of the cheese and then pressing the espresso into it. Very dynamic, they just came out with another one called a tea hive. They use bergamot tea and they really do the same kind of uh, uh, process by pressing fresh ground tea into the cheeses as well. Continuing on with some of our local cheddar uh, suppliers of cheeses, we also work with Gold Creek Farms and these guys are out in Woodland, Utah. Uh, they really only have a small amount of cattle that are primarily Jersey cattle, uh, brown Swiss cows. They produce small batches of milk, so they produce small, small batches of cheese. Uh, one of the things that, the, that they've been famous for is some of their 24-month aged Parmesan, both in just regular uh, Parmesan, and then they do a beautiful uh, smoke process, both in Parmesan, and then this one is the smoked white cheddar. Um, brown Swiss cows, again, produce great cheeses. So they're really doing small, amounts of very dynamic, dense, unique product. Um, Gold Creek is one of those cheeses where, you know, you put it in your mouth, you, you really get a good taste for it, and it, it just kind of lingers on and on and on. So a little goes a long way with this product here. One other cheese company that we're working with is uh, Heber Valley Artisan Cheese Company. And again, this is their Ustalipa cheese. They make this cheese with really the old-fashioned way, the old Swiss variety uh, way. And, and what's great about this is uh, this cheese can be eaten as is, or traditionally it's cut into smaller pieces and then lightly fried. And, and it's really known as a bread cheese. So it's fried lightly, um, seared if you will, and then kind of smeared over toast. Um, and it's phenomenal. Uh, Heber Valley cheese, they, they used to leap of varieties that we carry. We carry the plain uh, banana pepper and one in jalapeno as well. So really kind of adding a little bit of dimension if you wanted to do a small appetizer with it or again, serving at table side would be something unique too. One of our last cheeses I wanted to show is our Woodland White. And our Woodland White is made in a 10 pound print. Um, really, this is a cheese for any chef to use for burgers or macaroni and cheese or anything that they're using more of a utility cheese for that they want to keep local, they want to have that nice sharp flavor. Uh, this is aged about 8 to 12 months, so it still has that nice sharp uh, dimension. The cost is really aggressive, um, and it's one of those cheeses that's going to be a little softer than their aged cheddars, but again, it's something that you can use almost every single day on cheese sandwiches and any cheese application. I think mean, it's fantastic. So thank you very much for watching today. I'm glad. I was very happy to show you a few of our artists and local Utah cheese companies that we're working with. Until next time, thanks for watching Food Trends Live. Thanks.